What's going on guys, it is Justice here and welcome back to RuneScape. In this video we're going to be covering off Nomad Hard Mode and this is something that wasn't on my priorities for this week. Uh, Deathmatch was my priority and still is but Nomad is a new D&D you could say and so I've decided to check it out this weekend. I'm going to share with you guys what I think about it and essentially you know why it's in the game as well. It's a decent repeatable uh, boss fight. Um, if you've done Nomad's Elegy, it's very similar to that boss fight, it's just got some additional mechanics in there and Nomad will deal a lot more damage now throughout the fight. And it's almost like a DPS check, you could say, uh, with a lot of RNG involved on the third phase where you've got to choose which Nomad to kill. That seems to be pretty guaranteed for me at the moment. I seem to be, I seem to keep uh, choosing the right nomad. Whether that is just chance, but I know a couple of friends who went about three or four battles uh, picking the wrong nomad, and it's obviously a 50-50 chance. So uh, obviously some RNG involved there in phase three, and of course with your hits, nomad now in the hard mode version seems to have a really high defense. Um, so yeah, RNG is definitely involved, but it's a really good DPS check, you could say. And if you get it sub eight minutes, you unlock all of the rewards. And you also get more loot per week as well. So you can loot this once per week. I think it resets on Tuesdays. And you can get around 1 million on average uh, loot if you get sub 8 minute kills. I'm going to go through my loot later exactly what I got. Overall though, um, pretty interesting boss fight. You could say it's it's harder than 0% Araxor for the pure fact that it is a DPS check. So you're going to want the right gear and you, you're going to need to know some sort of ability rotations in order to get through it sub 8 minutes. Unless you're extremely, extremely lucky. Um, so I went in there, my first attempt was with melee and I got it 8 minutes and 19 seconds. So I just missed out and that was with melee and I was using the scythe. Um, and I had to kill both of the nomads in that one. So what I did, I lured both of them together and just killed both of them at the same time with, with the scythe, with the hurricane and quake and stuff. I then got recommended uh, by a friend to go and try mage out. And I was like, yeah, okay, let's try mage out. Kind of makes sense because you can use the Guthuk staff special, which decreases the defense of nomad and increases your accuracy. So that would really help you throughout that battle. And, you know, uh, it'll prevent you from splashing as much with your hits. So that was fantastic. If you've noticed as well, you hardly ever hit criticals throughout this battle. Only if you use, let's say, the magic tendrils attack, that's when you see those criticals. Other than that, I don't see any criticals at all throughout the fight. Um, or it's very, very low chance. I think I saw like one fire breath crit, which was like 7.3k or something, which was quite nice. That was whilst I was in a meta. But anyway, um, I decided to go in with magic and try that out instead and ended up getting it uh, first time with magic um, the next day when I tried it and that was with the Guthic Staff spec. But what was interesting, I got a 333 second kill and 8 minutes is 480 seconds. So I absolutely smashed the target, but there was a reason because there was a reason behind it. Essentially in phase 3 where you've got to kill two nomads, I just instantly uh, tagged one of them. You're supposed to have you're supposed to have to get Nomad down 100k, and then at 100k he'll split off into two Nomads and you have to deal another 100k DPS. Uh, but in my instance, for some reason, it glitched out on, on Phase 3. I just hit Nomad a one hit, like it just damaged the number one. It just damaged one, and then it skipped the entire phase to the last one. I was like, okay then, this is, this is odd. Have I discovered a new mechanic? But no, it's got to be a glitch. And I'm sure that's happened to some of you guys out there listening right now. So if that happens, it means it must have glitched out because there's no way. Because when the fight ends, you've only deal around 670k total damage. And the total damage that you should be dealing throughout that fight is 800k. So essentially, it's 100k damage per minute if you average it out that way. So yeah, a really interesting concept in my opinion. It's almost like a world boss, you could call it. Where you can go in and fight it once per week for loot. One of the biggest things I like about this though is that it's linked to a quest and I've been asking for stuff like this where, I mean off the top of my head I can't think of many major things that have had an impact in the game, any bosses that are repeatable as such. So this boss is very repeatable, uh, there might have been others but this boss is, stands out for me now as a repeatable boss fight which is linked to a quest. So I had to complete Nomad's Elegy which took me about 50 minutes uh, to complete so I had to do that before. Uh, being able to participate in this and that is a requirement guys you have to complete nomads elegy and all the prequel quests to that uh, quest line in order to fight nomad in this version and it's really cool concept now it's a world of boss you could call it and it's repeatable and it's linked to a quest and that's what i really like about it so i'm very happy jacks have done something like this onto the loot um 
The first loot, I'm not quite sure what it was. That's when I unlocked all of the capes except for the uh, Blood Soul Cape, which is the very last one. Um, so when I actually unlocked the Blood Soul Cape, which meant I got a sub eight minute kill. So I went in and I got that 333 second kill and I was like, that isn't really legit. So I went straight back in again and got a 469 second kill. And that was with a couple of mistakes, but still got sub eight. So I was happy with that. And it was legit, so it wasn't like glitching out on phase three. Decided to check out my loot again because I used the weekly DD token in order to reset it so I could actually obtain the cape right now for the video and to see what loot you can get sub eight minutes. Um, managed to get uh, 1.3 million GP worth of loot in sub eight minutes, uh, which is shown on the screen right now. And it's going to be the loot that I got and then also the price check of what it actually is equivalent to. So that's how much loot you can get here, guys. It's a repeatable boss fight. It's interesting concept and it would be cool to see some more stuff like this moving forward. Oh, by the way, probably the biggest thing that you want to look out for within this boss fight is the special attack that can hit like 8.6k plus and that can restart. That can just take you out. That starts from phase two, I think. The Nomad will teleport to one of the sides of the bridge and uh, no special attacks will be released from that guy into the middle of the bridge and that's when you know that Nomad is charging up and he'll a little message will pop up on the screen saying feel my wrath or something along those lines. And at that point, you can easily negate the damage of using magic, then just uh, switch to your shield quickly at the right time. Still deal DPS, but just switch to your shield at the right time and use resonance and it negates the damage and it only hits you as zero. Or if you're using, let's say, melee or range, you can use disruption shield, which is a lunar spell. Just hit that, tap that spell, and it will negate that damage for one hit. Um, and that is also a really nice way of countering it or you can actually hide behind the pillar if you're using let's say range or mage you can hide behind a pillar negate the damage and also still keep attacking nomad so yeah thank you very much for watching today's video uh, have a good start to your week and i'll see you in the next one